So great question from Wendy Porter. Wendy, thanks for throwing that in there. Thanks for the question, Wendy. Um, she says, so how do you get those executives to attend those dinners? We can't get access to lists ahead of time to invite those people. You usually just get a physical mailing address. I think this goes into something you're really passionate about, which is pre-show marketing, right? Like yeah, okay, so Wendy, so you're saying that there are executives, and you can write in the chat as I talk this out, if there's anything that you have to clarify. So you have executives that you are trying to get to a dinner at a conference, but you don't always have all their contacts. So here's what I would say. True, I mean, data at these big conferences is a major struggle. It's a major feud from the association versus the exhibitors that are paying money to be there. The association doesn't wanna give up the data because they think you're gonna spam them, which probably most of us probably would, right? But, and then you need it. That's why you're going, because you're paying to be in front of these people. So it's a tug and pull. What I would say is this, your options are pretty simple. A, the one is year over year, as you go to this show, you have to collect your own data mm -hmm. without question. You have to collect your own. If you're not collecting your own and building upon the relationships, the people you've met, the contacts you've made, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Two, I find that a lot of the apps for the events, there is really good contact resources in there. It's showing you who's attending, who's there, and you can pull a lot of information from there while you are at that event. So I would be pulling information from at them. the event and typically about a week prior right a like week, for us exhibitor live prior, yep. yeah they, it's they, a couple days prior they for released the yep. app and immediately the team went to work of just like who's yeah. this person who's this person who's this person and it's, it's and as them people up. sign up so you yeah. have people probably a week before that are opening this app and then all the way down till yep. you know a day or two or the day of the show right yeah. your your last minute the next piece that i would say is using tools like linkedin navigator zoom info seamless ai right which is who are the companies? You should know the companies that you're trying to get the executives from. Who are the executives at the company? You can figure it out these days. You can definitely build a list. You, you know, you build a short list, and then I would be crafting an email to an executive, which should be written a certain way, short, to the point, no BS, and I would send it at a obscure hour. I would not send it between nine and five. If I'm emailing an executive, I'm sending the email on a weekend, or I'm sending the email at 7.15 in the morning, or maybe 6.30 at night. Interesting. Because I think that that's when you're gonna catch their attention. They all check emails, but they're working during the day, they're meetings, they're busy, and things like that. But I think those tools could be really helpful for getting them there. Outside of that, I'm probably working with your sales team. I'm talking to the sales team to make sure you have the right companies, the right targets, and then you can go hunt down and try to figure out who these executives are. And then, of course, last is what is your offering to them? Are you putting something out there in front of them that they're going to want to go to? Because they're probably be inviting to multiple dinners, right? Mm -hmm. So what makes your dinner better? Do you have a keynote speaker there? Are you doing something different, a learning? What would they want, right? Like, I don't know the industry. I don't know who the executives are, but that's what I mean by diving into these audiences. Who are the executives in your industry? Is there any repetition with them? Is there anything yeah. that's similar so you can build your dinner around that? It feels like for those dinners, I've seen two things that are either you have- Oh, uh, hold on. I just want to add one thing, yeah. Wendy. It's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. Like what you just asked and what you're trying to do, so many people are trying to do. It's difficult, but I think going through the motions, trying all those things, keep trying, keep pushing. She says, it is hard. Yes, it is. It's hard. So I, I don't want to just stay here and be like, oh, do this. Yeah. It's so easy. It's not. Here's but I also think those are the motions that need to be made. I would add lumpy mail. If you have a mailing address, I think that we overthink a lot of just like, how oh, can I do a Facebook ad and do all these different things? Yeah, maybe a gift with a it, with a thing. Yep. If you send a real gift with a real thing, with a handwritten note of yep. we're doing this thing. And again, it goes back to the offer, right? Yep. Like it goes back to like, are you coming to dinner to be pitched by a bunch of our salespeople? Or are you coming to a dinner to listen to this like thought leader? Or are you going to the dinner where you're going to facilitate a conversation between you and other yep. executives like you to solve a problem that you all have? Uh, what if you can brainstorm? What together. do the executives care about? Like the people yeah. that you're bringing the dinner, what do they care about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, good question, Wendy. Yeah, great question, Wendy. Thank I you. Appreciate for it. it.